Hey, ChatGPT enthusiasts! Ever wished you could have ChatGPT right on your own machine? Ready to assist you with just a click? Well, you're in the right place. Welcome back to AutoGPT Tutorials, where today, I'll guide you through the simple steps to download and use ChatGPT locally. No complexities, just one click away. Whether you're a developer, researcher, or just curious about exploring ChatGPT on your terms, this tutorial is tailored for you. We'll be leveraging the power of the largest GitHub project, LlamaFile, to make this process a breeze. In this video, I'll walk you through the entire process. From downloading the necessary files to setting up ChatGPT locally, we've got it covered. The best part? It's absolutely free. No subscriptions, no hidden fees, just seamless access to ChatGPT whenever you need it. But you might wonder, why use ChatGPT locally? Well, having it on your machine means faster response times and an offline experience. Imagine having the ChatGPT magic at your fingertips without relying on an internet connection. Sounds good, right? To make all this happen, we'll be utilizing LlamaFile, an impressive GitHub project that simplifies the entire process. It's a community-driven initiative, constantly updated and improved. Kudos to the LlamaFile team for making ChatGPT locally accessible to everyone. Before we dive in, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. We're here to simplify complex tech processes, so you never miss out on the latest tips and tutorials. Now, let's get started on unlocking the full potential of ChatGPT right on your machini. First, you go to LlamaFile Project's GitHub page link available in the description. And go to Quick Start section. The easiest way to try it for yourself is to download our example LlamaFile for the LLAVA model. LLAVA is a new LLM that can do more than just chat. You can also upload images and ask it questions about them. With LlamaFile, this all happens locally. No data ever leaves your computer. First download this latest release Lava model server file. And if you want to download any other models then go to other example Llama files. And choose any model server files. For example, Mistral 7B Instruct, Lava V1.5 7BQ4, and Wizard Coder Python 13B. So you choose any server model files. And if you use a llama file throw command prompt, then download these model files Mistral 7B and Wizard Coder. But currently we are using server files, so I choose server model files. and I download this file. So I click this file and download in my system. After complete your download, move to next step and open your terminal. And if you're using Mac OS, Linux, or BSD, you'll need to grant permission for your computer to execute this new file. So copy this file and paste in your terminal. But in this video, we are using window. So I skip this step and move to next step number four. And if you are on Windows, rename the file by adding .exe on the end. And run this llama file. So let's move to our system, and go to download file directory. My downloaded llama file, so click this file and change file name extension, llama file to .exe file and save now. Change file name, yes. Next run. This file using double click and run now. And you see my memory loaded. My computer buffer to tell size 162, 63 MB. And it's done. My localhost Lama server start right now. And if your browser not start automatically and don't display a chat interface, then open this localhost port in your browser. And when you're done chatting, return to your terminal and hit Control C to shut down LlamaFeel. Okay, let's I move to my localhost server and complete your chat setting. First you choose chat section and if you want to change then change. Next move to our system prompt, our default prompt is this is a conversation between user and Llama, a friendly chatbot. Llama is helpful, kind, honest, good at writing, and never fails to answer any requests immediately and with precision. 
so if you want to change, then change, otherwise it's okay. Next, your username and bot name. Prompt template. Chat history. Template and other chat setting, like predictions, temperature, etc. And if you want to change more settings, then click more and check it's... Okay, let's my all setting complete. So I use my chatbot and start with high message. User message, hi, llama message. Hello, how can I help you today? Our next message, create a joke. And llama message, sure thing. Here's one for you. Why did the tomato turn red? Because it saw the salad dressing. All right, chat GPT enthusiasts. That wraps up our tutorial on downloading and using ChatGPT locally. We've covered the entire process, from setup to enjoying ChatGPT on your terms. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your fellow tech enthusiasts. And for more simplified tech guides, remember to subscribe to AutoGPT Tutorials. Hit that notification bell so you never miss out on the latest updates.